I love deadlifts. Usually I don't drink monsters that have sugar in them. Usually I drink the white monsters, but this is in my building. I didn't feel like stopping at the gas station to get a white one, so this will do. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am in such a good mood today. I'm on my way to the gym right now. I'm deadlifting today. Usually I drink the white monsters with no sugar. They're not bad. I'm not a big fan of like that energy drink flavor, but of like Monsters, Rockstars, Red Bulls, I definitely like the flavor of Monsters the best. But anyways, how is everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day here in San Francisco today. So like I said, I got deadlifts today, picking it light again today. This week is kind of just like an easing back into it type of week. I'm a power lifter, clearly you could tell by the title of this video, but when I moved, it kind of just like threw me out of my groove when it comes to powerlifting. So I do go to a powerlifting gym now, but I haven't been working with my coach and I lost a little bit of weight. So like I've just been kind of thrown out of my groove, lost a little bit of strength. So I'm kind of just trying to ease back into it. We'll see how things go. I'm not gonna push it too hard, but. So I figure my drive to the gym could be our little talking, catching up, up, talking about life talk to you guys about what's on my mind oh my god it's gonna be bright the lighting okay oh no I did it again oh it's right here do you see this little thing this is the wide angle lens for the camera that I'm using the DJI Osmo pocket 3 and it's magnetic so you just clip it right on to the front and it turns it into a wide angle but it's tiny and it's magnetic and the magnet is not very strong. So I've already lost it multiple times. The first time that I lost it, it was just gone. I couldn't find it. So I had to buy a new one. And then the second time that I lost it, we were at the mall and I had it clipped to my mic cause it's magnetic right here also. And it just got, it got lost somewhere in the mall and I backtracked and I actually was able to find it, which was very lucky. But anyways, so you ever come across somebody who just loves to shit on your plans? When you tell somebody what you've got going on in your life, maybe it's something new that you're doing or something really exciting. Oh my God, that's a one way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You tell somebody your plans and they just immediately hit you with a, why would you want to do that? Or I don't know, that's really hard. I don't know, like, I don't know if you could do that or, or I could never do that. Like, I, I don't know, just like putting like a negative spin on your exciting moment. If somebody tells me something that they're really excited about, I'm going to be like, hell yeah go for it that's so dope that's amazing i don't know i just never understood people wanting to put a negative spin on somebody's plans i really feel like that stems from like a deep insecurity a long time ago i talked about on my channel energy vampires and just people that literally drain the energy from you i am a very positive person and i can sense an energy vampire from a mile away if i leave from being around you and i feel exhausted mentally and emotionally you're an energy vampire i saw a video recently that talked about in order to live the life that you want to live you have to detach from certain things and i feel like those types of people are a big piece of that. So I feel like for me, when you're dealing with an energy vampire who is somebody that like you cannot physically detach from, like maybe it's a family member or a coworker or somebody that you just, you have to deal with. What I've learned to do is to detach from them mentally. Number one, you can unfollow them on social media. That's a big one or delete social media that's even better that's what i did i deleted social media altogether i have detached from them mentally and emotionally and immediately my life got better it's such a freeing feeling i've been happier i've been less stressed and if i ever come in contact with these people i know how to handle the situation i am 
again, much more detached, but ooh, I got a parking spot today. Let me know if you guys can relate to that. I'm pretty sure everybody can relate to an energy vampire. I actually have an entire video on energy vampires that I made a couple years ago. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. I actually, I haven't watched that video in a really long time. I should look back on it. But my piece of advice, again, if you're dealing with somebody like that, detach from them mentally. Give yourself permission to not think about them anymore, to not allow them to have that type of control over you. It's a really freeing feeling. And once you give yourself that permission, things, you can feel things start to change. I have, and it feels great. But anyways, I'm at the gym and we're gonna deadlift. And like I said, we're gonna keep it light, but let's see, let's see how it goes. I got high hopes. I ripped my headphones. These are the Bose, I don't know what they're called. I'll look it up. I did rip them, but that's only because I sleep with them sometimes <laughs> because they're noise canceling and I am a very light sleeper. They're really, really good. Like I can't hear shit. I love these headphones. Try not to die getting out of the car. Don't forget this. Let's see if anyone's here yet. I like to get to the gym when they first open. Hopefully nobody shows up again today because then I can talk to you guys. If there's people here, I don't really like talking to my camera, but we'll see. First one here. Really hope this moves. I love deadlifts. Deadlifts moving like ass. Like I said, we're rebuilding. This is gonna take some time. Slow and steady wins the race. y'all that's it for today look y'all clicked on this video and y'all came to my channel to see a world champion powerlifter you came to the wrong channel super average building my way back up but i'm doing my best it's hot i don't know why i put this back on like i said if you came to my channel for a super advanced power lifter, you came to the wrong channel, straight up. <laughs> I am not advanced. I am a baby power lifter, but you know what? I love it. I'm not trying to be a world champion. I'm just trying to be a strong ass bitch.
position. Try to squeeze in the full Nelson. Plus, I got a bitch in my DM talking about where her man did I see him. I'm a J. I speak English and Spanish. I'm bilingual all day. Slip out, man, I don't know who's in this crowd. on the roof right now. She immediately come up here and just laid down in the sun. <laughs> Very warm today. It's probably the warmest it's been in San Francisco this year. It is, <laughs> it's literally 64 degrees. You need to go potty. Come on, let's go potty. She just wants to lay in the sun. Come on. All right, we're at Costco. My goal is to find high protein food. I don't know why that word came to me. Oh my God, <laughs> Uneducated oh, yeah. swine. I was actually Imbecile bad. is I was, bad. I'm going to call you an uneducated swine. <laughs> the same. I guess we could try these. Yeah. It's worth a shot. I need to get some of this brie cheese and parmesan. $14. Okay, fine. Thank you. You're welcome. At least it's healthy. Oh, this salsa looks good. Yeah, almost. When? Costco gives me anxiety, man. <laughs> At least there's not a lot of people over here. Just get that one. It comes with four? That's a good deal for that much. Oh wait, still a good deal. Get that one, nope, that one. There's four pizzas in there. Six pepperoni, four cheese. Let's just get that one. I know, yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah, you told me. What is the expiration? Ooh. Go <laughs> it's okay. I don't like it. It's kind of sweet. It's pretty good. It just tastes like they mixed in seasoning into sour cream or Greek yogurt. I like it. I like it. It's okay. <laughs> Bro, that's Seventeen fifty for six cans. God damn. Okay. Uh, you need to stop by, by the membership because we owe you a your reward, okay? Oh, okay. Awesome. Wait. Anything else, ma'am? That's it. Thank you, you too. Fine. One slice of pizza. And I want a soda with a refill. Here you are. Thank you. You have 29. Have a great day.
I, bro, I wouldn't even be six feet 